I've spent the last few years working for one of the largest shockwave clinics in North America, and I've learned a thing or two about the power and untapped potential of regenerative medicine. But the march towards a future where sickness is healed from its root cause is challenged by the influence of big pharma and their deep pockets. So now we're forced to answer questions like, how do we get rid of joint pain, take back our performance in the bedroom, and heal diseases from the inside out without band-aid medications or negative side effects? This show will give you the answers. Follow along as I interview the world's top experts and doctors and how they transformed their lives and their patients' lives using the newest advances in biotechnology. I'm your host, Austin James Wolf, and you're listening to Modern Biotech Radio. Hey, what's going on, Modern Biotech Pioneers? Today, we got some thunder from down under. Now, what if I told you that you could zap your junk down there to make it work better? Uh, well, scientists around the world are scrambling uh, to get these studies done so it can become a standard form of therapy uh, for a treatment of erectile dysfunction, treatment of Peyronie's disease, and for guys that just want an upgrade. So guys at a 10 out of 10, they just want to take it to a 12 out of 10. So uh, I'm going to be analyzing one of the studies today uh, from Australia uh, about um, shockwave therapy for treatment of not only just erectile dysfunction, but improving erectile function, erectile performance. Okay, so uh, if you want to learn more about zapping your junk down there uh, <laughs> using sound wave therapy, here's a study that breaks it all down for you. So uh, one thing I want to sort of um, uh, lay out there on the table is you're going to hear a lot about shockwave therapy, but shockwave therapy in this medical sense means acoustic wave therapy. So the medical term for it is low intensity extracorporeal shockwave therapy. The FDA calls it acoustic wave therapy. They're just sound waves penetrating the tissue. So there's actually no electricity going into the skin or into the tissue. It's literally just sound waves. Okay. So we're going to jump into that right now. This is from the uh, BJUI uh, evaluation of uh, and for those of you guys who are listening, my, my podcasters, I actually have the study up in front of me on my YouTube channel. So uh, if you want to go to the Nova Center YouTube channel, look up Modern Biotech Radio. I think I'm calling this episode Zapping Your Junk or something like that. Um, uh, something clickbaity like that, you know. Uh, Got to capture the attention. I'm calling it, uh, yeah, Zapping Your Junk Thunder Down Under Australia Case Study or something like that. So uh, if you want to hop on there, you can see the actual cl- uh, study itself. If not, I'm going to read it out loud for everybody. And the link to the study will be in the show notes. So whether you're watching on YouTube or you're listening to it uh, in the description, in the show notes, you're going to see a link to the study. So you can go ahead and read it yourself. Okay. All right. So uh, the title of the study is called Evaluation of Clinical Efficacy, Safety, and Patient Satisfaction Rate. That's important. After Low Intensity Extracorporeal Shockwave Therapy for the Treatment of Male Erectile Dysfunction. An Australian First Open Label Single Arm Prospective Clinical Trial. Okay. So, uh... What I like to do is I like to make clinical studies and I like to make them simple because they're not really speaking to the general public when they're writing these. They're speaking to professionals. Uh, this is kind of the way the professionals speak to each other, okay? Not, not, the, not the way the common man speaks to each other. So what I do is I take these studies and I break them down, make them easy to understand, okay? Um, okay, so uh, we're going to go over the objective. The objective is they want to see if low-intensity uh, extracorporeal shockwave therapy can actually work to reverse erectile dysfunction and improve sexual performance. Uh, here they go through the patients and the methods. Um, I won't go into that deeply. Uh, the results. Okay. The results are really important. This is so just to give you guys who have never read a clinical study before the the patients and the methods is important to sort of validate the efficacy of the study itself, because a lot of pharmaceutical companies might scramble their methods a little bit to make their drug look better than a competitor's. So for example, they'll test their drug against a competitor's drug. Um, but with the competitor's drug, they up the dosage to make it seem more toxic, right? So that's how pharmaceutical companies can uh, scramble data. And in fact, studies have shown that they actually do this a lot. So to actually look at the efficacy of the study, you have to look at the patients and the methods section. Uh, and uh, for those of you who are listening, the methods section basically just says, all right, we're using uh, this power shockwave uh, millimeters, sorry, millijoules per millimeter squared, also known as bar. Uh, we're using this number of shock waves and you know, that's, it's all great. Uh, we actually use more shock waves in our clinic at the Nova center, uh, just because we found that we get uh, a higher efficacy re- rate, a higher success rate when we use, uh, a stronger and more number of pulses. So I won't go too deep into that. Uh, but just know that this study is going to give you a success rate. We actually see a higher success rate in the clinic because, um, we were trained by the largest wave providers in the world. You might've known their names. Um, and then we actually improved upon those protocols and we made them better. So then we started training their own doctors. Um, so anyway, just know that we get a, actually a higher success rate, uh, than the study for that very reason. But, uh, this study is pretty tame. 
they just wanted to, you know, test the waters and see if the stuff actually works. So that's why uh, the stuff that they use here is is a lot less than what we use in our clinic. But you know, oh well, it works. Okay, so then the results section. All patients had tried and failed um, oral phosphodiesterase. I can't even pronounce it. Basically, the blue pill, right? Um, no side effects of shockwave therapy were reported. Most patients reported an improvement in IIEF scores by five points, the International Index of Erectile Function. All uh, basically in, in simple man terms for me, uh, their erections got better is what they're saying. Um, edit score index increased by 50%. Most patients were satisfied and would recommend the therapy to their friends. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty awesome that they would tell their friends, hey, you know, my, my dick wasn't working and... I got this therapy, but it works, right? Most guys don't do that. We wish guys would do that, but they don't for some reason. Uh, but, you know, actually, uh, what, we're, what we're finding is a lot of guys who are, <clears throat> excuse me, doing this for sexual improvement for those guys that don't seem to have a problem, but they want to improve their performance in the bedroom. Oh, they tell their friends all day long. They're like, man, I just shocked my junk. Freaking works, right? Oh, man, we love it when you guys spread the word. Because, I mean, it works, you know, and if you can reach someone else who's having this problem and uh, they know that they can reverse it, that's great too. So uh, they're basically saying the conclusion, uh, L-I-E-S-W-T, low-intensity extracorporeal shockwave therapy, uh, appears to improve erectile function, is safe, and potentially plays an important role in penile re uh, rehab rehabilitation in men who have failed medical therapy. Interesting. So what they're saying is uh, if, if medical therapy has failed you, this is probably going to work for you. That's basically what they're saying. So let's jump into the study itself. Uh, they're going to show a nice little uh, picture of the machine that they use and then a nice little... A uh, little uh, illustration of the penis and <clears throat> where they're uh, administering the shock waves. Now, they use little lightning bolts here, <laughs> even though it's not electricity, okay? They should have used sound waves, but, you know, whatever. Dramatic effect, right? Uh, then they go deep into the results. I'm not going to go deep into the results, uh, but I am going to go deep into the discussion because it's super interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to read this out there uh, for you guys that are listening to the discussion because I think this is one of the most important parts. The current treatment strategies for ED consist predominantly of treatment options that do not address and or restore underlying pathological changes in the penis and are often associated with various treatment-related side effects. Now, what are they talking about? What they just said in that sentence is most therapies for erectile dysfunction are not treating the root cause of it. Band-Aid medication, okay, and that Band-Aid medication often causes side effects. So that's what this is saying. They're saying that there's not really therapy out there that deals with the root cause until now, okay? A treatment regimen that offers men a safe, rehabilitative, uh, or even curative intent to regain spontaneous erections is an ideal goal. Recent publications show that LIESWT can restore natural and spontaneous erectile function by improving penile hemodynamics and underlying pathological changes through its angiogenic properties. Okay, so just to give you a little insight into that, so the root cause of erectile dysfunction, a root cause of, if you're, if you're over 18, you, your, your performance is going downhill every single day. It's called microplaque, and what it does is, think of your micro blood vessels in the penis uh, like, a, like a pipe, and the micro, uh, the micro plaque sort of builds up down there over time naturally, even if you're super healthy and it starts to clog those blood vessels, okay? That's why uh, if you take a blue pill, it's called a vasodilator. It temporarily widens those blood vessels, uh, but then they, they go back down again, right? And it doesn't remove any of the plaque. And widening of those blood vessels can produce side effects. So uh, taking blue pills not only does not deal with the root cause, you have to time it. It can be, it can have embarrassing side effects. It can be dangerous for some people. The more you take it, the less effective it becomes. There's just a whole lot of problems. Why not just deal with the root cause itself, right? Um, so uh, then they go into, they're like, okay, we looked at another study and uh, they saw a pretty good improvement. So that's our hypothesis. Uh, if they saw improvement, we're probably going to get improvement in our study. And they're like, and then they go into this paragraph. They're like, yeah, uh, our study did see an improvement. In our present study, men with vasculogenic ED responded better to LIESWT, the men who developed ED after radial prostatectomy. This is an important point. So there's another study that I'm going to do later in the future uh, about shockwave therapy for men who developed ED after their prostate was removed or after prostate surgery. So in this study, they're basically saying, hey, if you had your prostate removed, uh, the chances of this working are a little bit lower, which is true, which is true because in the prostatectomy, they could nick a nerve. There's a whole lot of bad stuff that can happen. Regardless though, we have had men come in to our clinic who had ED because of their prostate was removed and they had success. Uh, they got an increase in erectile performance. Uh, one guy actually used the rocket. It's on the uh, Launch Medical YouTube channel right now. He says that he had ED because his prostate was removed. Uh, he uh, got an improvement in blood flow after using the rocket. And then he says some other things which I'm kind of hesitant to share. <laughs> we didn't ask him to say this. He's like, yeah, I saw an improvement in length and an improvement in girth. 
which by the way, is not tested, is not clinically validated. Uh, it's all anecdotal. Some guys do see an increase uh, in length and girth, but uh, we have nurses working on you know their junk. And what they have told us is, uh, yeah, they sometimes do see, uh, the nurses themselves see it, uh, an improvement in length uh, and girth. But what we actually think it is, we this is our hypothesis. It's not really, I don't know if we have any grounds for this claim. Uh, but what we think it is, is uh, as men develop ED, they get less blood flow to that area. And when you get less rich oxygenated, oxygenated blood to that area, things can start to shrink. Maybe not a lot, but over time, multiply that by 40 years. Uh, and, you know, your penis might shrink over 40 years of getting less and less blood flow, right? So when we restore blood flow to that area, they're getting more blood flow to the penis than they've had in 40 years. So it might appear bigger to them, right? When in essence, it might just appear the same size as it did when they were 18, but now because they're 50 and they've had this problem for a while, uh, it started to shrink over the years very minimally, okay? As time went on, very probably unnoticeable. But um, let's say for over 50 years, you know, your penis starts to shrink just a little bit uh, and then you get this therapy and then in six weeks, instead of 50 years, it goes back to its normal size. Over six weeks, you're going to be like, wow, my dick grew, right? In reality, it probably just reverted to the natural state it was when you were 18. Again, that's just our hypothesis. It hasn't been proven. Uh, but, I mean, yeah, take that with a grain of salt. Um, okay, so then they go in uh, and then they go in here. They're like, okay, in this previous study, they used this machine called the ED-1000, which uh, in a later episode, I'm actually going to demonstrate the difference between an ED-1000 and these stores uh, unit, uh, the dualist that they used in this clinical study, and then the rocket. That way you can see the shockwaves. We actually uh, use the stores deactor in our clinic, uh, and we uh, that's where we've seen the most success with uh, treating uh, sexual performance. And we calibrated the rocket to work exactly like the stores deactor. Okay, so you're gonna see, you're gonna get to see the difference in shockwaves pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, let's see. We acknowledge we acknowledge the various limitations in our present study, lack of a sham arm. Uh, and then they go into a lot of different things about low intensity shockwave therapy, you know, certain, certain variables can change. So they just mentioned that. Okay. This is important. I, I just, just to keep in, um, just to be scientifically honest, I want to read this section. Uh, in conclusion, the potential appeal of low intensity extracorporeal shockwave therapy to provide sustained improvement in the erectile mechanism and cure ED, unlike current ED treatments. Wow. They said cure, which are symptomatic and used on an on-demand basis. It's exciting and novel. So basically they're saying, hey, uh, in a world where you take blue pills and you have to time it and it's embarrassing, it doesn't really work that well and the effectiveness decreases over time, this thing, which might be a cure for ED, is pretty exciting. That's, that's what they say in the study. This proof of concept study shows LIESWT to be an effective, safe, and tolerable in Australian men in the short term. Well, those Australian men are tough, so uh, it's a good thing it's tolerable. Additional studies with large, multi-center, longer-term, randomized, and sham-controlled studies are required before LIESWT can be adopted as the standard therapy and indeed a treatment that can cure ED. So basically they're saying, they're like, yeah, this study showed an improvement. We got great results. We just think there should be more studies before this is deemed a cure for ED. Awesome. Cool. I'm all for that. Great. That's, that's awesome. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the study. So I'm going to include a link in that show notes. Uh, but this is uh, just to sort of wrap this up. Uh, according to this study and many, many other studies, dozens and dozens of clinical studies, uh, that's level five proof, uh, shockwave therapy or sound wave therapy or acoustic wave therapy, if you're at the FDA and you like to complicate things, uh, has been shown to improve your sexual performance and can also reverse ED. So if you're a guy who's older and you have ED, this can reverse it. Um, now, again, I just want to keep this in mind. We run the largest shockwave clinic in North America, and we've seen uh, a whole slew of patients, and the patients that don't get results are patients that don't take care of themselves. So if you have high blood pressure, diabetes, and you're massively overweight, or you smoke a pack of cigarettes a day, you have bigger problems than your dick not working. Your heart could stop. You could have a heart attack, right? Uh, and of course, this can have an effect on overall blood flow and circulation in your body. So we recommend patients who, oh, if you're an alcoholic, if you like drink every day, those patients also don't see quite as good results, okay? So uh, stop drinking every day, stop smoking altogether, um, and then get your diabetes, high blood pressure, and um, obesity if you're obese under control first before going into the study, okay? So those people that actually care about their health and take action to do something about their health, those are the people that see the best results. So uh, I just wanted to throw that disclaimer out there. Also, um, if you guys haven't heard of the rocket, uh, you can get these shockwave treatments inside of a clinic. So there's tons of clinics around the world that can uh, provide this to you, but 
Uh, thing is, it's kind of for the one percent. It costs about three thousand to six thousand dollars. You got to go to the clinic six to twelve times. So, if you just want to doc, if you have that money and you want a doctor to take care of you, uh, they're going to be awesome. They're going to give you recommendations. You're going to have that one-on-one -on -one time with the nurse or the doctor uh, to ask them questions. It's awesome. Okay, so if you can afford three thousand to six thousand dollars, great. Do it. Find a wave clinic near you. Uh, if you can't, if you don't live near one or you don't have that kind of money or you're just kind of too embarrassed. Uh, to have a doctor working on your junk, uh, you can go get the Rocket. It is the first home use device that has been proven to work just as effectively as the units used in the Wave clinics. See, up until now, there have been other home use devices, but they're BS. They don't they don't work <laughs> as well as the uh, storage unit used in the Wave clinics and most of these clinical trials. So you can buy one of those BS devices. Uh, it ain't going to work for you because <laughs> uh, it hasn't been proven to have the same sort of shockwave uh, as the stores unit, but the Rocket has. So uh, that's something that we made because we wanted to give access to this great technology at an affordable price uh, and in the comfort of your own home. So if you're interested in that, go to GetMyRocket.com. All right, guys, that was Thunder from Down Under. Uh, help uh, my Australian listeners. Lucas Owen, if you're listening to this right now, hope you're not offended. Let me know. All right, guys, see you next time. Are you a guy that wants to upgrade your sexual performance using the newest advances in biotech, but don't want anything with negative side effects? Listen up. If you've been in this space for a while, you've probably heard about low intensity shockwave therapy, or as the FDA likes to call it, acoustic wave therapy. Over time, your blood vessels down there start to build up with microplaque. This is what drags down your performance over time and is the leading root cause of erectile dysfunction. But acoustic wave therapy has been proven in dozens of clinical trials to safely break up and remove the microplaque with no side effects other than improved blood flow in that area. It can also cause angiogenesis, which means the formation of new blood vessels. So if you get acoustic wave therapy down there, it can help reverse the effects of aging and help you get more blood flow than ever to that area. Unfortunately, you have to take time off work take off your pants in front of a nurse and get this treatment once a week for six to 12 weeks. And you have to pay around $500 for every treatment. That's $3,000 to $6,000. Most men couldn't afford this or didn't live near a clinic or were even too embarrassed to get treatment. I know this because I helped run the largest shockwave clinic for sexual performance in North America. That's right. We've done more treatments per clinic than anyone else on the continent. But we wanted to help people who either couldn't afford this treatment or didn't live near a clinic like ours. So we teamed up with a brilliant inventor who found a way to turn this revolutionary treatment into a home use device called the Rocket. That's just as effective as the $40,000 devices used in clinics around the world. Now, you can get this life-changing treatment in the privacy of your own home and at a price that's finally affordable for virtually everyone. Just go to GetMyRocket.com to learn more. After we made the rocket, we tested it on a force plate to make sure it had the same energy output as the $40,000 machines used in clinics like ours. It did. Then we tested it on ourselves. Once we knew it worked and was safe with no negative side effects, we ran our own clinical trials on our patients. Every man and their partners saw an improvement in his ability to perform in the bedroom. If you'd like to upgrade your performance in the bedroom, just go to getmyrocket.com to learn more. Forbes has already called the Rocket a multi-billion dollar industry disrupting device because guys don't need the blue pill after they use it. And biohackers who are looking for that extra edge don't need to pay three grand to six grand anymore. If you'd like to learn more about this revolutionary device that's now making waves in the medical community, just go to getmyrocket.com. Doctors and urologists are now even prescribing the rocket to their patients, but you don't need a doctor's permission to upgrade your sex life. Just go to getmyrocket.com to learn more. If you'd like to upgrade your performance safely and effectively with no negative side effects, but don't want to take time off work and drive to a clinic six to 12 times and pay $3,000 to $6,000. If you'd like to avoid all that and upgrade your performance in the privacy of your own home, check out The Rocket. Just go to getmyrocket.com. I'll see you there, Rocket Man.